M0FXB, welcome to my channel, UV Fiber made by Kushang, which comes with a super battery, looks like this. You can't charge it in the actual radio using USB-C because USB-C is completely blocked off. If you look at the other models, the UV5 USB-C charger port. So I don't know why they've done that. Maybe it's not even in there, which it probably isn't, but I thought I'd have a quick look. So I don't think it's that hard to take it apart. But my way around it, just so you know, is I just use my, I get to the super battery, which is this one here, 3800, I think. And I just put it into my UV5R, sorry, my UVK6 or K5. And it charges it and it works fine and it does fit. Now I did have to take off this tab at the top here there was a plastic tab, you can see the cut marks there. It's only a thin tab. I cut it off and it fits no problem, you know, with the other Kushang radios. So that's good. But the next thing I want to know is, come on, let's, let's see what's underneath this charge port. So we'll take the battery off and it's not actually that hard to take these apart. So it's a little bit annoying because you do have to undo the ring under here and you have to pull this this knob off here which came off very easily so you undo the ring there's a small ring there and there I'm going to try and poke something in and get them turning and then then annoyingly you do have to sort of wedge a flat screwdriver in there and lever it up so there's a chance you're going to crack the plastic a bit but I think it's worth it because I want to know if it's there USB-C port. Soon find out. So the first one was really loose. Just using something pointy to just keep going round and it's turning. As you can see until it comes all the way out. Now I think you don't actually have to take that one out because it's underneath the plastic. So I'm going to try and once this one's off try and get the uh, pull the pull it out from the bottom just after taking that one off. Eventually, it comes off quite tight. Really worry. I need the proper tool. What I someone sent me a link. To, I want to get a proper tool for doing this because it's quite fiddly doing it this way. With a, I just did it with a a little screwdriver, mini screwdriver, but goes that way around, flat end down. Okay, so really I can't see that I need to take that other one off, but I might have to. And now we're just going to lever here from under here carefully. I'll try and do it with some a plastic spudger first. Okay, so this is the plastic thing I've got because I repair because I've got so many kids and they keep they kept on breaking their phones. I started, oh, that's come up quite easy. I started to uh, fix mobile phones ten years, about well, about eight years ago, and it saved me a lot of money. And also, it wasn't just that. They would break their phones so off, often. And you know what they're like if they haven't got their phones? So look, we lift here. And then we should be able to just... Looks like the keypad's going to stay in place. Just thinking of it. I'm going to gradually... Pull this towards me. Okay, there you go. It's like the yellow button came out, but... Anyway, look. No USB. I just don't get it. Let's see if I can get it, this out all the way. All right, the speaker looks glued in. I put the push the button back in. One thing has fallen out, which is this. I'll work out in a sec where that goes. But otherwise, there's the there's the board. I mean, you think we get all this for, for like if you're buying the UV five twenty pounds? It's pretty good, isn't it? Come on, Fifth, some people fifteen. Um, so let's have a closer look at their USB C. Hole. That's 
that's what we're seeing. Just, I don't understand why they haven't done that. Maybe they're using old boards, maybe it's old stock, because they, they, you know, I think they will very soon bring out one with USB-C, because every person that buys it is going to be, why don't you do USB-C? So there you are, and then to put it back in, you're, just, you're going to slip that in, in and under like it was before. Push it back into place. I'm just going to see what that plastic piece is. If you look at this video here, look, the USB-C would go there. Yeah, so the plastic piece that fell out just goes above the, if you look like so, and it, the right hand hole is larger than the left. It goes above the sort of microphone speaker plug connector there. So just put that back on and then slide it in. So it's, it's on there, look, and then we're just going to slide it under, under and in, and it just clips back into place. We don't even, I'm going to put the thing, you don't even need to screw that back on. The one that came off though, it was very, it was tight coming off. But again, send me, I want to buy a tool to do that. I've taken these apart a few times. Uh, just check that your buttons work before you screw it all back together. I'm going to check that the buttons work. Welcome, frequency mode. Well, um, I think you probably did the right thing piping in anyway. Like so. Uh, just make sure your keys work and your, yeah, everything's working fine. Remember, this is the Quashang UV5, this one. So I'm just going to line up this. Yeah, I won't even do it tight. And I'll just spin it round. So it goes in so far and then it actually gets really tight and I'm not really sure why, but I bet you with a proper tool it wouldn't it wouldn't feel tight. You know? That's where you put your little carry strap strap antenna. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Wrong place. <laughs> Oh, funny. So, anyway, antenna there, battery. So, really, to take these apart, it's literally just one ring off and it levered up. When I took the battery off, the battery, you just press it here. Yeah. It levered up easily. It wasn't hard to lever it up. So, I'm, I'm, I'm very tempted now to quickly do my UV5 but um, in a separate video. But thanks for watching. We've answered the USB-C question, and that is, yeah, they left it out, and could we solder one in? No idea. Um, probably. I'd have to take it apart and dismantle it further just to show that. But thanks for watching my channel. Otherwise, these batteries, they're brilliant. 3800 milliamp. I wonder if you can buy them separate. What you'd have to search for is a Quingshan. UV5R battery. Okay, well they seem to have it. Remember, these will fit the UV5R, but you do have to cut off this tab here. It's gonna be about, well, it's free delivery, so it's free shipping, so it's gonna be a bit of tax. So six, seven pound, but you get this 300, 3,800 milliamp hour battery for your UVK5. I think it's worth it. So thanks for watching my channel. Never stop experimenting. It's great fun. Seven, three, all the best.